Hi, Gary Cruz here. If you're interested in learning how to press Control Alt Delete on a kiosk, then watch this video. Today I'll be going over this mini key wireless keyboard by iPassport. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Inside we've got the keyboard and then we also have an included USB-A to USB-A female extender. I guess you can use this to plug in the dongle. Here's the instructions. Oh, the dongle is inside the battery port. So let's open up the battery port. We'll unwrap it here. In the back, there's a battery port for room for two AAA batteries. And here's the dongle. And it's already paired, I assume. And this is where you put the AAA batteries. Let's go ahead and put the AAA batteries in. Here are the AAA batteries. And we'll go ahead and put them in the remote. And then close the cover. And on the right, there's a power on button. It's the smaller button right here with my thumb. And once it's powered on, it looks for the dongle to pair to. And next up, let's go ahead and plug the dongle to the back of the computer. So I turned the kiosk around and this is the back port of the kiosk where the computer is. There's a USB-A port, just plug that right in. I hate how it's only go it only goes one way. And once it's plugged in, let's go ahead and try this out. What's nice is that there's a function key and if you press enter, it clicks on control alt delete for you. So you're only pressing two buttons. Here's the sign in. And you can choose between administrator and the kiosk mode I made earlier. Now I selected administrator and I'll go ahead and type in the password. I can use this keyboard or the touch screen keyboard, which is nice. And once I get in, It will take me to the administrator desktop. So you can see that now I'm logged in as an administrator. I will have access to the control panel. And then if I need to log out, I'll just press control alt delete again, or just function enter on the remote. Here it is again, press function and enter. So it's a two button press. And now I can switch the user. And I'll select the kiosk mode and click on the sign in button. And that gets me right in because the biggest challenge before by not having the keyboard is that there was no way for me to do control alt delete. Now this keyboard gives me a really easy way to use control alt delete when I need to log in as the administrator without having to plug in a large keyboard onto the back. And here's the kiosk. Let's go over some of the finer details of the keyboard just so you can get a nice view of what it looks like. You can see the blue function key on the bottom left. There's an array of keys. You can also use that mouse area for a to simulate a trackpad. And you can see the left and right mouse buttons. And then there's the, uh, under the enter key, you can see where it says control alt delete. So when you press the function button, any items that are highlighted in blue will work. Now let's see what it looks like in my hand because it's kind of hard to determine the size. It doesn't feel too fragile. So if I was to drop it, I don't think it'll break. Here it is in the horizontal view. The buttons are very responsive and have a slight tactile clickety feel to it. They're very responsive. I just turn it off and you can see that the, the light doesn't turn on, but when it's on, you can see some responses when you press the button. Great. 
And to store it, there's a nice handy place they can put it in the back of the kiosk. And I'm thinking I'll put some Velcro and attach it to the back so that when it's locked away, it's not going to fall. And it looks like it can fit right here. Now you gotta be careful because that's where the power button is. You can temporarily store it just like this. And then when you unlock it, you can have access to the keyboard. This concludes the overview of this portable keyboard with built-in dongle. I highly recommend those with uh, anyone who's going to put a kiosk together to give you quick access to control alt delete to allow you to get administrator access into your kiosk. And if you're interested in purchasing this, it'd be helpful if you can use my links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Yeah.